Do you think your family is crazy? Then think again. This is Fear Thy Family from the My Crazy Family podcast. You know, when you set fire to a home that has someone in a wheelchair in it that needs assistance getting out, and on top of that also has four adults and three children inside, the charge should probably be a little bit more than just aggravated arson. Shelby County, Tennessee, with a $30,000 bond. Really? You did this and that's it? And you scream, I hope you all burn? As you walk away, lighting the building on fire. But apparently in Shelby County, that's all you got to do. And you get this aggravated arson. Here's what happened. 54-year-old woman, not having a good day, having a dispute. James Cheney was reportedly watching TV at home on Burr Road when his friend, who's in a wheelchair, got into a dispute with Pamela West over some money that was owed. Well, West here, who's reporting this, uh, was a guest at the home. After the argument, West, well, she was walking away. And I think she's seen uh, one too many scorned woman movies where they walk away you know, throw the cigarette down and somehow it magically lights everything on fire as they, the wide shot pans and there's walking like, I got this bitch, you know, um, cause she kind of tried to do that. Except she threw her lit cigarette onto a bag of clothing that was sitting on one's porch, you know, the place you normally store clothes. As she walks away and lights the fire, she screams, getting out of the house, bitch! And then exited the home, slamming the door behind her. She allegedly used a cigarette to set fire to that plastic bag of clothing, like I said, out there on the porch. And it lit! It was very flammable. Flammable as Kathy Lee Gifford garments in the early 1990s that they had to recall from Walmart. Bonus points if you know what the fuck I'm talking about. That stuff always smelled, too. It was highly flammable and it smelled because it was made in sweatshops. And they're like, uh, Kathy, your shit's made in sweatshops and it smells. <gasps> no! It's changed, though. It's not the same anymore. Anyway. Court documents obtained. Jenny said Wes got mad. And here's the quote. We can even do it in a little pitched up voice. Got mad. She come on outside and we thought she left. But she didn't leave. She simply set my whole front porch on fire. Uh, Jenny continued. She was standing right out here on the corner. Here watching it. And she took off running that way. And said, I hope y'all burn. That's what she said. Officers reportedly responded to the home. West was gone by the time they got there. They found her eventually. Booked her into... Shelby County Jail, not on like attempted murder or anything like that. That would be, you know, I don't know, make too much sense. $30,000 bond and charged with aggravated arson. Hopefully they, once they know the kind of the scope of all this, maybe that gets up a little bit. Uh, It was some more charges in time. One would hope or think. All the residents of the home were able to exit safely, thank goodness, including uh, Jenny's uh, three young grandchildren who were sleeping at the time that this lovely friend of the family decided to set fire. This has been Fear Thy Family from the My Crazy Family podcast. Share your crazy family stories now at crazyfampod.com and press subscribe and listen for new full episodes every Monday and Wednesday of My Crazy Family.